Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting inside the tiny house, just finishing up my coffee. It is cold! I can't believe it! This weather has just been crazy over the last few days. It's been really super warm to the point where I almost felt like I needed to put on shorts, but I didn't. So, uh, yeah, pouring down rain last night, but um, I'm just going to share some clips with you of things that are going on over the last uh, couple days. Once again... I'm left looking for the leghorn. She comes out of her hiding space. Oh my gosh. I only got six eggs yesterday, and this is why. That's hilarious. I got me a nice pot of, well, it's going to be chicken and rice going, and I used two cans or two jars of the chicken stock that I made with the chicken that I harvested. And I'm just cooking it over the rocket stove. It is working really beautifully. I had to change that little bottom part from a just a small uh, lid off of a can that I took off to, it, that's a number 10 can <laughs> lid. And I've just bent it, shoved it in. It works so much better. This thing, it don't look pretty, but it sure works great. I had to raise it up a little bit, so I just put that little gray thingy. <laughs> On top of the other ones because it's kind of like boiling over the heat is really really concentrated in this column and I'll just refresh your memory there's a tin can that goes into an elbow pipe that goes into a stove pipe and the bricks are just there to support it 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 just works so so good and I took somebody's suggestion and have tried the cotton ball and Vaseline and it works really really great because all I did is I, I filled the, the stove with stuff from the bottom and from the top. I dropped one cotton ball uh, with Vaseline in the top and I shoved one in there. I mean, they were already lit when I put them in there and just start loading it up with sticks. And it, they works, it, it works great. It worked perfectly. And so all you got to do is just keep shoving the wood in further and keep feeding it. And this is working so much better because, I don't know if you can see, underneath it, it gives a, a bigger gap to create the airflow. I love it. I really, really love this rocket stove. I think I've actually finally built an actual rocket stove. Go me. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that. Oh, that looks so good. And I've used dehydrated uh, chicken from Augustin Farms, and I've rehydrated it. It's very delicious. I can't wait to eat this. Would you look at this? Oh, my gosh. I got the rice perfect. Oh, this is going to be so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> mmm, mmm. Everything turned out perfect. The stock was already seasoned with all those herbs that I put in when I cooked the chicken originally. Just absolutely perfect. Mm. Yeah. That was a pretty big pot of uh, chicken and rice. So, uh, yeah, you better believe it. Papa got some, the puppies got some, and the chickens got some. And I had like three servings of it myself. None of it went to waste. Oh, by the way... Uh, since we're talking about the puppies. I've been looking around and there are signs of life everywhere.
It was a cold, dreary day today. It's still like 61 degrees inside here. I think it's like 42 or something outside, and it's going to drop down lower overnight. So I get to burn a fire tonight, and I haven't done that in, I don't know, it feels like a week. But I'm going to cook something beautiful. But, you know, even though it's been rainy and we still have a few more cold days ahead of us, spring is almost here it is almost here guys i can see it i can feel it so and the puppies are back there playing <laughs> they've been very good anyhow um <laughs> that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.